before this video starts, just want you guys to know this video is not about hate or anything. It's just showing my opinion on a situation going on in YouTube. What's up, guys? This video is going to be a little bit different. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you've all heard of the recent news with FusiTube, aka Yusuf Sela Aerocat. If not, here's a quick recap. Fusi held an event on July 15th. His message is to spread positivity and all types of positive message type stuff. Well, in the process of making this whole positive outlook on life movement, Yusuf has been back and forth on his channel talking about depression and suicide and drug abuse and just a lot of things that I'm not going to fully go over in this video. But let's get back to the main point. I've been watching FusiTube and all of his side channels since like forever, but recently he has gone a little bit over the edge. Yes, Fusi has been the continuous mission to better himself and spread positivity, but at the same time he's created obstacles for himself that he has not probably ever intended to happen. Number 1. The Ego Fusi constantly preaches against hate and negativity, but once he is pushed into a corner basically, he starts going up about things about how he owns cars and all these houses, and just basically showing all his wealth. How many fucking movies have I been in? My mentor is Tyler Perry. I just crushed the fucking world on July 15th. I bought my mama house, Sam. I bought myself a house. I bought myself a Ferrari. I bought myself a Range Rover. I've donated over $100,000 every single year to charity. That alone might not be the best side of him, but like all of us, there's a side we need to acknowledge that we don't want to show people. Number two, another problem that is, he has is his hype men. Basically, Fuzi surrounds himself with people that want to support him, people that will tell him, you're doing great, you're doing nice things, which helps someone's self-esteem, but if it's not truly honest people, what's that good for you? And here's another clip from the same interview with Sam Pepper. And you surround yourself with all of these people That's that are a constantly superpower. saying yes to you, yes to you. So the more the more manic, manic you get and, and the more of these ideas you have, like putting on a concert in five days, you probably could have had a concert which was really fully packed, that had all of them views. I mean, we didn't get to see the true potential of it. In the last two clips, you can obviously obviously see how angry he gets and how irritable and how his constant demeanor about making people feel bad is like constantly there, but at the same time, we'll be like, I love you. What I think Fusi needs to do is stay away from the cameras and the limelight and everything included. And yes, I already know there's going to be people in the comments saying, he's already done that, Crex. He's better now. And blah, blah, blah. Well, the truth of the matter is that Yusuf needs help, whether it's psychiatric or whatever, but he needs someone to help him and possibly even be over and done with YouTube. Because right now, he's just on the path to self-destruction. You saying, Fousey is the biggest piece of shit, egotistical asshole on this earth. I have bipolar and depression. That what you put into my head made me want to kill myself. <laughs> See, like I just showed you, that's a clip from Fusi yelling at Keemstar from the top of a car after his event got shut down because of a bomb threat. Yes, anyone will be upset that their event got shut down, but at the same time you can see he's openly just yelling and ecstatic, but at the same time it's like almost in a scary type way. So all I'm going to say in the end of this is that, Yusuf, I'm praying for you man, you need to get some help, figure something out. If you guys do agree with me, make sure you guys comment down below, like, and share this video so maybe he actually sees this and understands that, man, this is just not the way to go. And if you guys want to, I'll put in the description Keemstar's version of the entire event as well. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, see you next time, and peace to all you guys.